Suarez arrived at Old Trafford for his first start since his eight-match ban. It brought him face-to-face -face with Patrice Evra, the man he was found guilty of racially abusing. Still, the hope was that Manchester United v Liverpool would be all about the football. If you get a good game, it, it, it transcends everything. I think we want to see good football. I think that both clubs have great histories and a, and a good game would do the world a good. But so much for shaking hands and getting on with it. Suarez refused. Referee Phil Dowd made his first intervention of the afternoon. Rio Ferdinand then snubbed Suarez and the tone was set. At the end of a first half of frustration, Suarez left the pitch to what was now a familiar chorus of boos. There was an air of ill feeling as the players headed for the dressing rooms. It soon spilled over, as Sky Sports' Jeff Shreves reported moments later. Patrice Evra came up the tunnel. He looked to be trying to confront or certainly speak to Luis Suarez. Just they got into the actual entrance to the dressing room. It was Martin Skirtle who blocked his path, and that was the cue for players from both sides to get involved. Great deal of pushing and shoving. Stewards and police involved. It took them a full four or five minutes to actually get into their dressing rooms. I don't have a problem with what goes on in the tunnel. It, it, this is what, you know, the Arsenal Man United instance, the Liverpool Man United instance, this is what makes it the best league in the world. We want this sort of confrontation and aggression in a football match and passion. Patrice Evra milking the celebrations. And there was plenty of passion on show at full time as United revelled in a 2-1 victory. Luis Suarez had scored Liverpool's goal in reply to Wayne Rooney's double. Evra's celebrations at the Stretford end saw referee Phil Dowd intervene once more as tempers again began to fray. There were more arguments at the top of the tunnel as relations between the two clubs took another turn for the worse, with United laying the blame on Suarez for his refusal to shake Evra's hand. He's a disgrace to Liverpool Football Club. At some players should not be allowed to play for Liverpool again. The history of that club's got, and he does that, and in a situation like today, could have caused a riot. I thought I was really disappointed in that guy. That was terrible what he did. I think you're very severe, and I think you're buying out of order to blame Luis Suarez for anything that happened to you today, right? I think predominantly the people, both sets of fans, behaved really well. They had a bit of banter between each other, no problem. I took a stance that he shouldn't have had the handshake in the first place, but once Patrice ever offered his, his hand, he should, have, he should have shook it, as far as I'm concerned. I think the whole thing has been... It's not helped anybody in football at all. I don't think it's, it's looked bad from top to bottom. Everett was kept on the pitch as the rest headed for the tunnel. It gave him the chance to savour a victory that takes United top of the Premier League. Roger Clark, Sky Sports.